Experiential learning is the fundamental component of the educational experience for every student at Missouri S&T. Students take what they've learned in the classroom, lecture hall, and lab and apply it to the natural world. Hi, my name is Steve Roberts, Vice Provost and Dean of the College of Arts, Sciences, and Business at Missouri S&T. We are at the Missouri S&T Field Station, which is a newly established facility that allows students and faculty to work together on projects related to environmental biology, chemistry, and engineering. The field station serves as a great platform for biology classes, including ecology, wetlands ecology, biology of Missouri cave systems, and biology of Missouri plants. But it also serves as a great place for students to take courses in environmental and analytical chemistry and environmental engineering. But yeah, he's growing some legs, I think, there. Oh, awesome. Our students from the humanities, such as creative writing, poetry, and art, also have the opportunity to use this facility to further their education. Watch out for snakes and drink. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my hello. goodness. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. The areas surrounding the field station are home to literally thousands yeah. of species of animals and plants. There are several aquatic species of concern on the site, including the plains top minnow and the least darter. Well, nearby is the home of an endangered insect, the Heinz Emerald Dragonfly, which is found one valley over in a wetland habitat called the Kentuck Fen. The facility consists of a cabin and additional housing units, as well as several ponds. It is surrounded by thousands of acres of national forest land and land owned by the Missouri Department of Conservation called the Bohegan Conservation Area. One of the things I'm interested in is the science of conservation. There are a lot of questions uh, unanswered. My wife and I thought, look, this would be great to uh, do a donation of the land to keep in a pristine area and make it into a biological research station. And my wife wanted to make the uh, 10 acres into an educational center. The cabin was built, uh, I believe, in 1869. The original house is a log cabin and a a little kitchen, it was added on to and added on to and added on to through the years, years and years and years ago. When my kids jumped out of the pond, I thought, what a great education this is. The little seed was planted in my mind that maybe someday this could become an educational center and lo and behold, working with um, Missouri S&T. We're going to have a lot of students out here and I imagine that a few of those students might regress into their early childhood. They'll have a good time too.